guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm uh, not going to say a few words at this stage. I may have something to say later on. Um, can I, first of all, say how pleased we are um, to welcome Secretary Schultz, uh, Secretary Bill Perry and Senator Sam Nunn here um, to join us not only for a viewing of this important film, which is uh, an argument, an advocacy for um, a world free of nuclear weapons, uh, but they have graciously agreed to spend some time afterwards with us. I know some of you have had preventive conversations with them um, before we uh, convened the meeting properly, but they graciously agreed um, afterwards to, uh, to answer some questions. Right, so I first of all want to welcome them, and I want personally, and on behalf of the parliamentarians who have come together in the grouping here in the United Kingdom to advocate multilateral nuclear disarmament at a very high level, improve non-proliferation and increase nuclear security, I want to thank them on their behalf for the enormous support that they have given us individually and collectively and the organisations that they have been involved with um, have given us in the development of that group um, and in the development of a European network beyond that group which has grown out of our group here um, in the United Kingdom. And, and that leads me on to my second thanks which is to the uh, Nuclear Threat Initiative which is um, a Washington based organization of enormous distinction, led by uh, Sam Nunn and Ted Turner, and has the most incredible board um, of people um, who have given us extraordinary support. And I see the president, uh, Joan Rothling, at the back of the room, um, and Isabel Williams, um, who ha I have worked with now very closely and have grown to respect enormously for the work that they do, Steve Andreessen too. Um, but the support that they have given us has been extraordinary. And, and I thank also uh, my colleague Margaret Beckett, who as Foreign Secretary went and wooed the United States of America with the speech that she made in Carnegie, um, committing our government to this agenda, and came back with the idea that formed the top level group and has been responsible for, uh, for, the, um, for the development of the European Leadership Network. Finally, I also want to thank the Scots Mafia of uh, <laughs> Ben Campbell and Martin Rifkin, who co-chair almost all of these initiatives that co convened with me. Um, the fact that we are all Scots, and um, the fact that we're all members of the Faculty of Advocates, and the fact that we're all friends, has got nothing to do with it. Um, we're driven by a desire to see a much safer world, and to capture this moment in time, to see if we can make from the United Kingdom a serious and significant contribution to an improved, uh, an improved world. And I see uh, Tom King and Geoffrey Howe and Douglas Hub and, uh, and people who would, if we were looked at from outside, form with us an improbable group of people, James Arbuthnot. I mean, there are, there are others. We represent, I think, um, those who have had responsibility for foreign and defence policy in relation to these armaments over the last 20 years. Now, I have missed out, of course, Shirley, up until now. But that's because I'm going to invite Shirley to say a few words. And I've tried to woo Shirley back to where she belongs for some time. <laughs> She's spurned my advances. But she will come and join me, I think, out here and say a few words before we go into the film. Shirley, please.